Hello, hello. Yes, so my parcel arrived today. Oh, Wendy's is... Wendy's has arrived. Okay, it must have travelled in the same van, Wendy. <laughs> Our little parcels were together. Right, hello, Susan. Lovely to see you. Hi, replay viewers. Sorry you didn't catch me on the live, but I just needed to get it on with it and do a bit of an unboxing. Yes, my new colours have arrived, and I do want to discuss the new colours. The focus of this live will be mainly talking about colours. I know what, let, hmm, let me show you the other things that I ordered, get that out the way, and then we'll talk colour. So if you then want to skip forward to the colour discussion, you can do. So I'm going to grab out some of the products. Um, there's a couple of things that I ordered that are from the main catalogue. I've ordered some more pearls. Can't, you know, always need pearls. Uh, Paula should be working. Okay, shh, shh. Uh, some new stuff, some more magnets for the stamparatus because um, I have heard people have broken these, <laughs> so I thought I may as well get these while they're still in stock. So I've got spare magnets, and oh, let's get out the get out the DSP as well. So we'll focus on the DSP first. I didn't order lots of like product to be honest, not lots of sorry, non card and stuff. I ordered one bundle and then. Uh, a set of papers and an embossing folder i didn't go too crazy um because there's lots of things in the catalog i want to order that weren't on the pre-order list so right desk view where's my desk there we go oh i might need some extra lighting do i need extra lighting oh the main thing is about extra lighting it goes a bit shiny all right so here we have what is this countryside in DSP which I thought was such a gorgeous kind of classic looking DSP that you could use for all kinds of projects and the they had a very pretty embossing folder as we were losing one pretty embossing folder I thought oh I'll get this one because this one is very very pretty and um, there you go so that's the embossing folder that goes with this suite Let's get the paper open. Hello, Shaz. Out with the dogs. Very nice. Hi, Heather. Hi, Nessa. Hi, Tashana. Lovely to see you. Have you got your pre-order yet, Tashana? Susan's on her way to the chiropractor. I love it. All right, so let's let, let's do a deep dive. Let's really have a look at some of these patterns. That is super pretty. And then the back to that one is this one here, which is I think is great for masculine. You know, just a kind of repetitive, nice image. Very nice. Okay. Oh, you know what? I did not register that these had bunnies. That is so cute. Oh. The embossing folder also fits the DSP. Oh, does it now? Oh, you can tell Ness has been around looking at different things then. So pretty. So this is using, I guess it's the boho blue and the new azure afternoon or azure. Azure, azure. So a bit of a pinstripe type with pretty. Now this is interesting that they've gone for some very tiny little designs. So are you suggesting that this goes with this? Oh, <gasps> no, that way around. Oh, she'd be right. Oh, isn't that clever? <gasps> Oh, shh, okay, Sue, so won't say your name too loud. Um, that is clever. So the embossing folder matches the paper. Oh, my goodness, that is so cute. I've just recently come across a British company called, is it called Fable? And they do the most adorable, it's all this kind of style, jewellery, accessories scarves and they're all like little fox 
it's all kind of inspired by British wood woodlands and animals and all sorts of things. And this really reminds me of that aesthetic. Very cute. And then on the back of that, just a generic. Oh no, I think I'll be using this side. <laughs> Yeah, that is so pretty great for kind of I think sort of teenage girls who perhaps they still like that little element of cutesy but a bit more of a sophisticated palette you know oh ooh. Now, did we there is no stamp set with this is there or is there? Have I have I just completely missed like the fact that there's a stamp set with this? I'm, I'm just gonna have a quick just, just have a little quick look at my new catalogue. I mean I know I can't do that in front of you guys, but let's just have a quick look at the other side of that. Oh that's nice. I'm just gonna have a quick look at what exactly is in this suite. Because they have billed it as a suite. But I don't remember there being stamps in it at all. It's just the embossing folder, the papers, the oh, oh the stamps are oh this. Okay, so there are some stamps on the second page that could go with it. The stamps are, so I'm not allowed to show you the catalogue, so I can't do that, but the, there's a set of stamps that are, have got lots of sentiments. You've got, may the years ahead be filled with lasting joy, I'm so thankful, I'm so sorry, hoping for better days ahead, thinking of you always, I miss your birthday, birthday wishes, actually I really like the birthday wishes one. And there's some leaves and flowers that are sort of similar-ish to some of the flowers depicted and leaves depicted on here okay they haven't made a big thing of it they haven't kind of like teamed it up as something that's interesting and then the stamp set that goes with this suite is a sort of if you imagine a hexagon that's been pulled lengthways there's a stamp that stamps lots of borders and then it has dies uh, what's it called when they've got the dies going either going smaller and bigger bigger smaller What's it called when they're nesting? Nesting dies. Okay. Ah. Okay. I'm. I'm just. I'm just sad. I guess that there isn't a stamp set that really picks up on the foxes and the bunny and the. You know. I think that's that's a shame. Although we've still got the bunny set that's in the mini that's carrying over. So there we go. There we go. Never mind. Page sixty-three. Thank, thank you, Nessa. <laughs> Folks with their catalogues are giving me the, the deal there lovely all right um so there we go that's the lovely embossing folder that goes with that so then i did purchase the sweet the daisy whatever it's called cheerful daisies i'm gonna have to get used to these new names now those of you who love to stamp one sheet wonders this is a great stamp you've got the option of the outline with the inner you have the large, the medium, and the small, all right? So this is something that I do talk about when you're starting out with Stamped One Sheet Wonders. It's good to have a variety of size, different sized flowers. Then you've got your inner to be able to do that slightly different inside. You've also got a side view daisy, which again really helps with that sort of just different looks. Then we've only got a little small leaf which um, is a shame, I think. It would be nice to have had a slightly bigger leaf, perhaps. Uh, and then we've got a stalk. So if you want your daisies to be on the end of a stalk, you can add that. But isn't that great? They've put the stalk separate. Love that. Oops, a daisy. So sorry. <laughs> what I mean, in what context would you ever send that? Please, answers on a postcard. You made my day. Okay, yeah. Wishing you the brightest birthday. Your friendship means everything. Yeah, I don't know. Oops, a daisy. I mean yeah there we go this suite didn't appeal to me as much as the others are you talking about that countryside inn one patricia yeah 
you're on the fence about the daisies as i have two other daisy sets okay i will convince you patricia this is nothing like any of the previous daisy sets that we've had now i i loved the previous daisy sets but they were all what i would call top down looking at the daisy um apart from there was one but it was slightly smaller so this is very different and i like the fact we have one two three four well that's you know a bit more than that five flowers but they're all in that similar style of artwork so you've got that filler aspect to it annie just doesn't like daisies that's fine annie protect but just pretend we're not talking about daisies then that's absolutely fine uh right so we also have a set that will cut out flowers just on their own oh and leaves that's interesting flowers and leaves now are these may match up with some of the dsp then we've got a really lovely tech i did not realize that we've got an outline that will cut out more daisies i don't know if that's the actual size let's just open that up let's have a look yeah so an outline that we'll cut that out oh i saw this awesome tip um barry from mitosu crafts the other day was doing an unboxing and he, what he did was he drew around the dies before he took them off so that he knew how to put them back again i was like why have i never thought of that before so there we go that is what I'm going to be doing because who like me just goes, yeah, rip them all off. And then I don't know how they go back. Can I just say this, this die, beautiful, beautiful. The side view daisy makes you, will make me think more about it. Oh, okay. Oops, a daisy, I forgot your birthday. Oh. Yeah, I think, oops, a daisy, I forgot your birthday. That does make more sense. That is a beautiful, that is a beautiful frond. Absolutely stunning. I'm a little bit confused as to why these are attached to the flower, though. Is that because there is papers that I need to investigate? They do do that sometimes, don't they, where they get the, the dies will cut out the papers. So that's why they've configured the dies in a way. But I don't know. Do you like that or not like that? Because once you've used up the paper, does it really matter? Ooh, yes. Maybe think of them as a different type of flower. Yeah. I'm wondering if we could make them look a little bit like gerberas. If, if I stamped and then twisted and stamped again, would it look like a gerbera? Right, now I was particularly attracted to these papers, so let me just do a little bit of tidying up. I was particularly attracted to these because, you know, I'm a bit obsessed with my folio albums at the moment. I like the idea, because I've seen other companies do this, of having elements that can be cut up and then used on your folio albums that perhaps, you know, we haven't got those designs elsewhere but are kind of like nice designs on their own. This is great for card makers if you're, you know, if you just want to cut out, quickly cut out and, and create a quick card. So we've got kind of like a scene there. We've got flowers. Then on the back is, oh, this is the new colour, the mauve. But yeah, I like that. I do like that. That's nice and bright and cheery, isn't it? And then on the back of that, I think that's the pebble path colour. Um, lots of lovely flowers on that one. And then, ooh, like a brush, dry brush effect. That's fun. They also remind me of echinacea, those daisies. Actually, Bobby's got loads of echinacea in his garden, I think. I like that. That's quite a sophisticated colour palette. I like that. Okay. 
It's all right. Be a nice slim line, perhaps. It's just sort of brushing again. Have I looked at that one already? I have looked at that one already, haven't I? Oh, hold on a sec. What's going on here? Right, so that's a different one. Right, so one, two. Let's just double check I've got the right amount here. Three, four. Five, six. Seven, eight. Nine, ten. 11, 12. Yes, yeah, so I'm thinking of creating a folio kit with half a pack of these papers and then some coordinating coloured cardstock uh, and, and some card. I think that would work. And then you'd have a whole page of these that could be then cut up and used for different things. I really like that. And this is featuring the new some of the new colours that, that we're getting. So this is like the lemon lolly and that's the uh, blah, 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 bubble bath. I'm still getting my head around the colours. All right, let's move on then. So that's all the papers, and also there's some gems that go with it. So these are the new boho blue. Oh, that's the new brown pecan pie and lemon lolly. Just those facet, lovely faceted gems. Really gorgeous. Definitely getting more than one pack. As long as you use them, Shaz. <laughs> what was it that you did realise you had loads of packs of the other day? Um, right, let's look at then the new in colours. I know some of you have seen this already, but this is kind of new to me, so I'm just going to take my time to go through them. And um, let's grab. So, boho blue, really lovely, lovely blue. To me, it, when I first sort of saw it, it was reminiscent of Seaside Spray, but I think it's probably a bit darker than Seaside Spray was. And what I'll do is I'll do a comparison with this blue and some of the blues that we actually have at the moment. And also a bit of a comparison with some of the colours that are coming back in. So let's compare it. I think the closest one I can think of is Balmy Blue. So let's compare. Ooh, wow. Okay. So it's it, boho blue has got a bit more of a purpley tinge to it, whereas balmy blue has almost got a slight bit of a green tinge, but um, but certainly more bluier. This this has got a slight purple, very very slight purple tinge to it. That's interesting. All right, and let's see how it sits with the new returning, sorry, Misty Moonlight. Let's get Misty Moonlight back up here. There we go. So Misty and Boho, I think, are fabulous. You're still like it better. I guess I better get up and start my day. <laughs> That's fine. You can hang with us. <laughs> That's fine. Hi, Ginny. Okay, so that's boho blue. Very pleased that Janine will love this. She loves her blues. Right, where's my scissors gone? I did have my scissors on my desk. I've got so many things open. Right, there we go. It's a bit like a washed out denim. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. Right, this is the wheat. Wild wheat. It's oh, someone very naughtily said it looked like pea, but yeah, I can kind of see if you're a bit sick, <laughs> if you if you if your kidneys weren't working, this is that maybe the colour your pea would be. But no, apart from that, I really like it because to me this is what the colour gold would look like. I mean, you know, gold is a metallic. There's no way you can depict it really with just pigments or colour. But if I was to try and depict gold, I think this is 
the closest it would be so it's a really gorgeous warm yellow with a very slight i'd say a very slight greenish tinge so we've got look that's crushed curry and that's old olive and look at that that's a very interesting I mean, I know I've got lighting. I've got quite bright lighting on this, but that is very interesting. Oh, that's a bit odd, Patricia. Have you already created a basket? Is it already in a basket, maybe? Yeah. Or have you have you definitely done it as a demo order, Patricia? You've got to make sure you do it as a demo order, not a customer order so yeah wild wheat i'm very very excited about using all of these colors actually i was gonna say this one but not all of them right what's this one copper clay yeah so interesting we've kind of like got gold and silver and then i suppose with pebble that's kind of like pewter isn't it that's the color of pewter so yeah gold copper pewter hmm so copper clay I don't think we've got anything like it currently i mean oh it sits nice with calypso coral beautiful let's see what it's like with a cherry oh yum okay oh cajun craze is probably the closest there we go so that's cajun next to that so cajun is clearly very more much more reddish and copper is is much more brown so there we go yeah, I love a mustard yellow. Yeah, me too. Shaz is checking on the lambs. Good, good, good. It looks like the old ballet blue. Yeah, I, I'll i try and find my... I've got my little... You know, going back over the centuries. Colour swatches. So this is Pebbled Path. Which I've just opened the wrong way up. Never mind. And I don't know, initially I'm thinking, oh, it's like a basic grey. That's the depth of it. Let's see what it's like against basic grey. So it's got a brownier tone to it than basic grey. You know, it's like a dark mushroom, really. Um, yeah, there's nothing else like it. Nothing else like it apart from basic grey. Okay. Oh, here we go for the heather. No, moody mauve. I keep. Why do I call it heather? I guess it reminds me of heather. It's a heathery colour. This one. I mean, what does that say about Highland heather? Is Highland heather a heathery colour? I guess it sort of is. It's more like a lavender, really. Highland heather. Right. Let's have a look. Rich razzleberry. Now that's leaving us. Ooh, it's like a washed out version of Rich Razzleberry. Oh. Oh, have a good day, Cindy. You're going to Beaufort to visit your son. Oh, uh, your brother, sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, gorgeous. Very muted. If you like your muted tones, you are going to love the new colours. Right, so... Let's just quickly have a look at some of the returning colours then. We've got Pretty Peacock, which is a gorgeous dark green, greeny colour. But look, it's very blue. That's Evening Evergreen. Um, it's 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 got bluish tones to it, but without being blue. Um, that's Night of Navy next to it there. Um, right. Now, I wanted to compare blueberry bushel. I love blueberry bushel. So, I just wanted to compare it with Sky, uh, Starry Sky and Orchid Oasis. So, so Starry Sky is really packed a punch. It's a, this is an amazing colour, really. But, seeing as this is going to only be with us for another year, this is going to be a great kind of replacement, really. Okay. Berry Burst, so that's a returning, again, a lovely returning colour. Let's see it against Melon Mambo, 
which is staying. Yeah, they're kind of like cousins, really. I like that one. Moody Mauve might be your favourite in colour. Oh, cool. Oh, Misty Moonlight. So Misty Moonlight, let's just do a comparison with that and Na Night of Navy. So Night of Navy is a much stronger colour. Um, this is kind of almost like a washed out blue, but it's it's lovely and sophisticated with, with paler blues. Then this is a new, oh, hold on, let me see what the return, other returning ones are. Yeah, Fresh Freesia. You guys know about Fresh Freesia because that's been around for another the last two years. So that's going to then join that palette there. Right, so then... Oh, and... Oh, no, Lost Lagoon. There's Lost Lagoon as well. Now, Lost Lagoon, I wanted to compare it with Soft Succulent. So Lost Lagoon is such a, like a bluier Soft Succulent. And I also wanted to compare it with pear pizzazz because i will miss pear pizzazz though and mint macaron so oh gosh i know it's a completely different that is a very different green oh well okay mint macaron yeah very different to that as well hmm Yeah, that would be interesting to see. Mm, I'll, I'll be very interested to see how I survive without pear pizzazz. Okay. Right, so brand new colour, pecan pie. So this is almost like the replacement for soft suede. So soft suede, you can see here's a more of a dirty brown and pecan pie is more of a slightly more reddish, really. Um, so just what kind of brightens those neutral tones up a little bit. Then a brand new colour, Azure Afternoon. <sighs> yeah, let's have a look at... So this is Tahitian Tide. So Tahitian Tide is clearly brighter than Azure. Let me see if I can get my little swatch, swatches of previous colours. Let me just get that tempting turquoise. Oh, I don't know if I can find it. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. So Tahitian Tide is actually closer to Tempting Turquoise than Azure is. Azure is very different. Right, that's Ballet Blue. That one there. And I would say that is similar-ish to Orchid Oasis. Which we did have a second ago. Um, yeah, that's Ballet and that's Orchid. Uh, can I put it against Pacific? Yes, I can. So there's Pacific. Oh yes, it is quite. Cl it's close-ish to Pacific. It's a similar shade of blue, but just like a lighter version of it. So that's tempting turquoise. This is Tahitian tide. That's ballet blue. This is orchid oasis, which I think is quite close to that. And then this is Pacific Point. Hi, Mary. Great to see you. There we go. So ballet, let's see Ballet Blue against Boho. And you'll see the difference. Huge difference, really. Let's see if I can find Seaside Spray. Oh, that's, what's that? Buckaroo Blue. That's before my time, that one. Buckaroo. Bashful Blue and, hold on, what have I got here? Brocade Blue. Oh, Brocade is probably the closest. And that's Seaside Spray. So that's Brocade and that's Seaside. 
Good morning, Mary. It's greyer. Yeah, Buckaroo's definitely very much greyer, isn't it? Let's see if there's any other mauves. I wonder if there's any mauves that are similar from way back when. A sweet sugar plum. Ooh. Yeah, so the mo Moody Mauve, it's like a darker version of Sweet Sugar Plum. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. Right, now I want to talk about, so we've done the blue. I've got Lemon Lime Twist, which is a brighter, lighter version of Parakeet Party. So there's Parakeet, which is kind of more greenier this is going towards the yellow yellow side but actually I'm really pleased this is coming because then when parakeet party goes next year I've got lemon lime twist to keep me going what about rococo rose um let me see if I can find it Shana there's rococo oh just dropped them all that's Rococo next to the mauve. So I'm just trying to make sure I get all my my swatches. <laughs> so for those of you who are wondering why I have all these swatches, um, Janine between Janine and Linda um, very kindly managed to send me pieces of colours that I, I just didn't ever have. I, I mean, I had quite a few myself. Oh, is that Tip Top Taupe? That's baked brown sugar. Yeah, that's Tip Top Taupe. Oh, baked brown sugar. Yeah, it's like a lighter version of the pecan. Okay. I, so I don't think I've got every single colour that Stampin' Up! ever did, but I've got quite a few. Right, let's talk about Lemon Lolly then. So Lemon Lolly is kind of the replacement for So Saffron. So let's just have a little bit of a comparison then. So So Saffron, when you see it against Lemon Lolly, has got much more warmer tones to it. Oh, hold on, my lighting's not doing it justice at all. Let's see if I can... Oh, no. Oh, gosh. I'm not sure. My screen is really not... Not quite. Oh, that might be better. That's that's more similar to what it's like in real life. Um, so this is lemon lolly. That's so saffron. So saffron has got that real kind of like dusky tone and maybe a little hint of red to it. Whereas lemon lolly is like a light daffodil delight, really. It's it's not quite as bright as say uh, pineapple punch was, but. Um, it's like a lighter version of Daffodil Delight. So, yeah. Yeah, it's really pretty. Now, we have been discussing the need for a decent pink for a long time. And I'm still not quite sure Stampin' Up! have quite got it. But this is going to be a core colour for the next few years. So, for that reason, I'm I'm happy. Uh, it replace, kind of replaces Blushing Bride. And you know, some so I know some of you folks didn't get on so well with Blushing Bride. Um, it certainly is a kind of dirtier pink um, compared to. Oh, I see that lighting. That is not doing it. Oh, I'm sorry about this. It's it's really not not showing what it, it's truly like at all on the screen. Yes, it is like a bed. A, Baby yellow, yeah. Um, let's just do, oh, excuse me. Let's just do a quick comparison then with the. So that's bubble bath, and that's pink pirouette. So pink pirouette has got a slightly grey blue tone, actually. Funny enough, and then that's powder pink. Have we got any other pinks? Pretty in pink. Okay. Yeah. I, 
I still think they could have gone more pinky with the bubble bath. And I wish they had, really. Like a, a lighter version, say, of this. What's that? Is that strawberry slush? Or is that... Um, Is that, is that polished pink? No, that's I think that's polished pink. Sorry, I was confusing myself there. Yeah, shame. Your lemon lily ink pad looks more like mango. Oh, lemon lolly. Oh, really? What when it when it stamps? Oh, okay. I haven't opened mine yet. I could do. Right, just gonna bunch these all together. I already dropped a few, so I don't want to. Don't want to damage them. Yeah, the bubble bath, I would say, is goes towards the purple pinks. Yes, I, I agree. Yeah. Well, just start, start with the outgoing colours, Tashana. And let me know if you want any, because I have actually got some leftover swatches. I've got leftover bits and pieces, so let me know. Right, so Misty Moonlight, Lost Lagoon, Pretty Peacock. These are all ones that I'm quite familiar with. Fresh. Oh, I'm going to have a second Fresh Freesia, but that's fine. Bone Burst. Blueberry. One of mine. Okay. Right, so... You did your ink samples yesterday. Oh, good. Let's add a bit of, get a piece of. Piece of basic white. looks like mango <laughs> for sure oh no but it inks up lighter there we go so the pad looks like mango but the actual color is pretty nice so when you purchase an ink pad for the first time there's just a couple of housekeeping things you need to do when you first start to open open them, they can be a little bit clunky. They're not sort of, they don't always open up very smoothly. So the thing to remember is just grasp the pad, thumb and fingers, and then just pull that away. Sometimes it helps to just give those a little bit of a push. Ooh. It depends what, where your strength is really, whether it's in your thumbs or in your fingers. Um, and then you need to grab the stickers off the back. Oop. Oh dear, that one I've slightly missed. Removed it. Yeah. And then you pop it like that. husband's coming towards me there we go you put your sticker on there you gotta be concerned about chris all the time the title of his sermon
<laughs> Sorry. I thought, what's my husband coming to tell me? Like, I'm on a live. Please don't, don't be giving me any, you know. <laughs> it's fine. Thing. I can share it's it. It's, it's, kind of it's my husband being silly. He's he's just come in and said he's a bit concerned about my brother-in-law, my uh, my sister's husband. And I was thinking, I'm on a live. You can't say stuff like that on a live. Anyway, I'll show it to you. So um, he's doing a series of sermons at his new church. And uh, he, Tom's just said he's just a bit concerned a bit about the title. It's just a screenshot. It's, it's a screenshot. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's but Basically, the theme is Christ will build his church. And he's obviously missed out the T. So it's Christ will build his church. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it sounds, a, sounds bit a bit dodgy. dodgy. A bit dodgy. It starts with one letter missing. I know. What do you mean? <laughs> Have you sent it to him? No, I haven't, no. Oh. It was a good sermon. Right, okay. So Tom says it was a good sermon, but... Mm. <laughs> he has such a radio voice. <laughs> oh, thank you. He does actually. People, people find his voice very relaxing. There we go. I don't even know why I'm doing these, but anyway, that's how you do it. Oh, I wanted to do a bit of a brush on that. Lemon lime twist. Welcome home. I missed you. Oh, goody, another label you can't read. We could always relabel them, can't you, Bobby? Surely you've got one of those label makers. Surely. Mr. I'm so organised, I know where everything is, Bobby. <laughs> Oop. yeah no i see your point though it is a little bit tricky to read that mind you we should just be able to look at it and know nothing a good sharpie won't fix exactly Actually, those three colours together look fabulous. Fabulous. Right. I use all my labels. I can't read them, but I can see the colours, says Annie. Yep, good point. Yeah. Yeah, haven't you got one of those little machines, Bobby, that you type in a word and it just, like, goes... And it pops it out. I'm sure you've got one of those. Oh, pretty peacock. Lovely. Right, I'm not going to do any... I wasn't planning to do any stamping right now. And I think we've come to the end of sort of really talking about the colours. Um, the reason I'm not opening my my in colours just yet is my poor... One of my downline has a parcel missing and she's got a launch planned and so I'm not sure if I'm going to have to actually send my in colours to her. Um, who wants that label on their ink pad? It's not the point. <laughs> yeah, I mean it works. I guess when it's a darker colour it works well because you're just printing one colour and then you're just missing it out. I wonder if it would be helpful if you just stuck a piece of black. If you... Oh, I know what. What if you go with black sharpie underneath and then stick it on is it a transparent label though yeah it is a transparent label because look you can see you can see the stamping up logo does that come off yeah that does come off that whole thing does come off Oh, well, Bobby, if all else fails, you can just take that whole thing off and you've got it on the back. 
There we go. I rarely take all that off, to be honest. I usually just leave those on. Because some with my some of my old ones, they faded a bit, so I've I've sort of taken the new one off the bottom and put them on the sides. Right, that is it. Any other questions? I bought Burberry Bushel last time and still haven't used it. Oh, Annie. Oh, it's gorgeous. Another bit of blueberry bushel. I, I kind of preferred it to Pacific Point. Look at it. Beautiful. Oh, it's your afternoon. This is what an interesting one. I, I felt that the paper as your afternoon was brighter than the this image here. Because when I first got it out, even my daughter sort of said that and she said, Oh yeah, but it could probably be different. I thought get May with her stamping up knowledge. Alright, let's just give that a moment to calm down. Compare it. Yeah, it's obviously dark at the moment because I've only just done it. No stamping, I'm free now. I can see some of these colours going very well. That new bee stamp set and the lemon set would be impossible. The lemon set would be impossible. Well done. Ooh, what new bee stamp set, Valerie? What page? Do you mean the queen bee one in the mini? I've just written over it with a black sharpie. There we go. Ruth used blueberry bushel one day in a video, and of course I got several packs. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, Cindy. <sighs> Never cut, cared much about it until she made me buy it. <laughs> Typical. Typical. The queen bee one, yes. Yeah. Shame it's going, isn't it? Yeah. Right, I'll come back later and do some stamping with you guys. Um, I've got a meeting tonight. Then I need to place an order. So if any of my local folks want just the odd little bits and pieces, let me know. Um, then I'll place an order tonight and then I'll come on live. But um, I'm not going to stamp right now. Ruth made me do it. Mm-hmm. All right, um, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm just checking out this is your afternoon. It, yeah. Do you know if it's kind of brighter than the ink? It's more, it seems more saturated than the card. Ooh, blush, blueberry bush on is your afternoon. Make happy. The B is staying as an online exclusive. Ah, okay, there we go. Free post and packaging. You're right, Subu. Yeah. So if you place an order over sixty pounds, so that's UK sixty pounds and seventy five euros, you get free shipping today. So it's a great time just to stock up on items that are increasing in price or retiring. So there we go. Right. Lots of love to you all. Take care. See you later, Heather. Thank you. The Bree bundle price is going. Yes, that's correct, Susan. Yeah. So if you want the bundle get that now and um, what's the other thing I thought I thought they'd reduce something to do with a queen bee maybe I've mis mistaken on that one um, let me just have a quick look online queen bee out there come on why is that typing queen Oh, the Queen Bee dies are fifteen pounds currently. That is a good reduction. I wonder if they had more than they thought. I might come back and play with that one later, actually, because I do love that set. Okay, right, I'm going. Lovely to see you all. Ta ta for now. See you, CB. Yeah. <laughs>
See, Bobby makes me do stuff as well. Bobby makes me buy products that are not stamping up. <laughs> Occasionally. Right. Lots of love, everyone. Um, oh, my desk is a mess, but... I'll leave you with a parting shot of some colours. There we go. <laughs>